All right, guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the Oliver 4705 shaper. I'm making some raised panel doors, cabinet doors out of red oak. Uh, this is the first pass I've made on them. I usually do them in two or three passes. I like to glue my three sides up first, slide my center panel in once it's done, and then glue the last style up. Um, right now, I have the feather boards that come on the fence set for the height of the foot give you a nice down pressure. I had the guard up so you can see that I have a Freud center panel bit in there installed with a router half inch collet attachment that they make for this spindle on this machine. I'm using the stock OEM miter gauge that Oliver includes. And one of the beautiful things about this table is the long, or one of the beautiful things about this router is the long table it comes with and allows you to really push the work through with the miter gauge. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to drop this guard down and set it. Once the guard is down, it is literally impossible for you to get your hands into the cutter head once the work is in there. It's really a great safety feature. So I'm going to put the dust collector on and run the machine. I currently have it set at 7,000 RPMs. The machine has three positions you can run it at, either 5,000, 7,000, or 10,000. It's got a very handy forward or reverse switch. I'm going to set the travel to forward. And it's going to get a little noisy in here. Here's one pass of a raised panel, and this is what I started out with. So you see how beautifully smooth that cuts. No chatter. The feather boards keep it nice and tight. The wood is perfectly smooth, no burn marks. I really can't say enough good things about this machine. They've thought about everything when they built this one.